All right, so first off, here's my uh, my uh, power supply I use for my hot wire. It is the Voltec GPS 1850D DC power supply. What I like about it is that you can uh, actually fine tune the current and voltage, and you can do a fine or a coarse. And it's really easy to use. You just hit the power button, and then you just turn the dials and set it to what you want. So that's that. And then here is my uh, board that I made. To use a hot wire so as you can see it, it's it's about a 12 inch uh, wire maybe 10 inch about, about 10 inches high um, and I do have it so it's perf perfectly straight up um, and I can adjust that and it's simple to do because I have what I have back here if you look at these two wires these two wires I can tighten one or the other with just these turnbuckles and it will actually straighten this this pole out so make sure it's perfectly straight up and then I have like an inch hole here so there's nothing uh, that's going to impede that so it stays away from the heat as well. Here's the foam piece section that I get from the hardware store. It's a two foot by two foot and what I like about this is that since it's two foot by two foot uh, you got a better chance of it being more uh, say uh, consistent with thickness throughout the whole across the whole two feet. Whereas if you bought the 4x8 sheet, um, it will tend to have a, a, a more of a, a sag in the middle. But this 2 foot by 2 foot section, it seems to be consistent throughout. Uh, I've only come across once or twice so far doing this project that, that it has a, a, like a 1 16th of an inch variance here and there. But, but to get around that is what I do is I, I use my table saw uh, outside. And, and then I cut these strips uh, based off the width of my uh, templates here, so I can cut different widths of this on my on my. Uh, I just rip these straight down my table saw, and it's very important that you set your table saw saw blade so it's perfectly straight up. And I just basically take this out and uh, put my up against my put this up against my table saw blade. And I can turn it because some of the table saws you can adjust the, the the pitch angle of the saw blade itself. So I take this out there and make sure that the saw blade is perfectly straight up. So when I rip these in half or rip these little sections down, that I know that these are these edges are perfectly straight up. So now when I go to actually cut hot wire my pieces out, so what I will do, I'll show you here in a minute. So I always put little markers here, you can see there, so I know what, what edges line up. So for instance, these two edges line up, so I will make sure that when I go, when I cut this section out, I want to make sure I cut the next section that matches this it's going to match up to this so that way this piece of foam matches up to this piece of foam throughout the fuselage so if there's any variance between here it's going to match up to the variance here and so the outside should be okay so then for my next piece I'll just kind of move down here and maybe I'll take the next piece I want to line up on this edge over here and then the same piece will match up to the piece here so that way if there's any variance from here from this section in the middle to this section on this edge it'll fix itself as I go down the fuselage from piece to piece so forth so that way it'll all even out alright so here you can see uh, some of my templates are already completely cut out and, and I don't usually cut the entire um, template out until I'm ready to actually hot wire it because see this can get real flimsy if I was to cut all these ahead of time and so forth some of these can get all bent and actually damaged before I go to use them on the hot wire so as you can see here I'm, I'm getting ready to do number 37 and so before I actually use this template on the hot wire on the foam I will right before I do that I will finish this inside cuts because I don't want any of this to get damaged so this kind of helps to keep it sturdy until I'm actually ready to actually cut this piece 
So I'm going to cut this inside duct work in the in the wire ducting uh, right before I actually cut the hot cut this on the hot wire. Now you can see on here too as well. You see these blue lines. These are my guidelines. So when I actually line this up on the foam, I'll show that in a minute here when I get this put this on there, and you'll see that. But this is my guideline. So these lines will transpose over to the back side, and that's what this is for. This here's a little piece of cardboard that is perfectly matched up for my guidelines. So now I can hold that there on the front side. It's matched up. So what I'll do. I flip that over and now I have little marks here. Now I mark that here and here. And now I, I'm going to transpose these guidelines over to this side. So I just make sure they're lined up. Now there's my guidelines on the back side, so when I go to cut the foam, because one of these are going to be on backwards, pinned to the back side, and I need to see these guidelines on the back side. So we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Okay, so that one's ready to cut out on the hot wire. I'm just kind of hold this here. You know, I have my guidelines here. So this is matched up to the edge. And so I'm just going to put a little line here, a little dash there where those lines are. Then I'm going to draw my guidelines on this edge. Good straight edge. the front and I got to transpose those lines over to the back side so what I do is use this triangle here and I just simply uh, transpose these lines over to the side you can see that but if I do it this way okay same thing on this side Now my lines are straight all the way around. Flip it over. Now this is the front. This is the side that the that's going to join in the middle of the fuselage. So I always want to use a straight edge on this side. So I'll bring this over and put that straight edge on that side. And these two lines should match up on the points here. Match it up. Up, we're good. Back over. Now 36 is on the front, 37 will be on the back side, backwards. So now I just got to line these whole lines up to the drawing on the foam. There we go. Get my pins. Okay, so that's the front side, it's all pinned on there. Now I have to do the other side, just like this. Okay, I got two pins there. Now you can see where this angle is, you see that angle? I want to make sure I push this pin in so it matches up with this angle. Otherwise, the hot wire will hit that pin and not cut through the wire, through the foam. You see, I need to go to an angle to match this little piece up. I need to redo this one. Otherwise, that hot wire would have hit that pin inside there. So this needs to be angled to match the angle of this. There we go. 
Okay, so there's my settings right there. I have it uh, 6.4 volts at 1.73 amps. And you know, I could just fine tune these if I wanted to. But I find that that's a good uh, temperature for my wire. Alright. So since this is a pretty long wire here, uh, I don't rest it down on this, I just kind of hold it up and I just kind of, I want. I don't want to line right up here, I usually go about an eighth of an inch off the edge of the cardboard at first, push it in and then come to the cardboard and when I, like I said I can move this up and down, just kind of use it like a saw because it keeps the foam on the hot part of the wire and I just cut right through it like butter, come off the edge there, now I pretty much followed this, pretty much followed this edge here if I flip it over, you can see I'm, I'm not quite all the way to the edge of the cardboard here. So I can clean that up. Well, I can clean that up. Let me get this section cut off here so it's not hitting my backboard here. So, so again, I'll just come in a little bit. Now I need to clean the other side up a little bit so it doesn't match up to the cardboard. So that's where I'll come back and just, and then I can tilt it and edge it. And this would all just peel off here. I see little bumps here, so I can just. Rub those out a little bit. The other thing I like to do a lot of times when you're trimming these little little pieces off, sometimes they'll stick to my wire. Just take another piece of foam and just pull that off, clean it off. Typically when I come to the edge, I always want to make sure I'm as straight up as possible so I come off the edge straight, otherwise you'll get a little gouge in the middle of the foam, you don't want that. Okay, now it's time to cut the inside. Again, I usually start off about one eighth of an inch out and then bring it to the cardboard. <coughs> 